everyone, Tanya Fox here from Crafty Crafters. So a lot of you come into the store looking uh, for the magic embroidery pen. Uh, we don't carry it right now, just to let you all know right off the bat, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a um, what's up on it. So the magic embroidery pen, as some of you have seen, is a pen that you can really quickly do embroidery with, but they never show you the back side of the work, and there's a reason for that. So that's what this video is all about. Now, the Magic Embroidery Pen isn't something that's new. It's actually something that's been around for a very long time. And I remember it from when I was a kid uh, and my mom took a course way back in the early, early 80s. Um, and it's actually a Japanese art called Bunka. And it's done with pulled silk threads. Um, so later in the video, I'm gonna show you a few examples of the difference between Bunka versus embroidery and how embroidery still has a really good place for certain things. But for now, I'm gonna show you uh, using Bunka tools, how the magic embroidery pen actually works, but I'm gonna show you some of the downfalls of this art as well. So we're gonna go down here to my table and I'm gonna show you this piece that I have started. So this is actually Bunka embroidery and or sometimes they do call it um, Bunka painting because from a distance it actually can look like a painting. So this is the pen. You'll see that it is quite similar um, to the Magic Embroidery pen. It just doesn't have the selectors. So the Magic Embroidery pen actually has a slide here that you can make this needle go farther into the work or less. But it's kind of the same idea. And we're using uh, this silk thread that we pull. So like the Magic Embroidery pen, you're poking it into your work and you're able to just kind of go along and make these lines and you can make short lines and you can make long lines and it's pretty easy to do. You're just kind of sticking it in. On the back side of the work, here's where it's gonna get fun and something you should know if you're considering this for clothing. No matter if you're doing it with Bunga or the Magic Embroidery Pen, it makes these little loops at the back of your work. Here's the downfall. If I turn it back over, if we grab, say, this piece here, you can just very easily pull the work out because it's just being held in by loops. So that's a little bit of the downfall in it. You either have to put a sticky backing on it to hold all of those loops together so they don't come through on your work, um, but Bunka Art always needs to be behind glass when you're done with it. So although when you get used to how to use the pen and turn it, your embroidery can go really fast. The downside is it's as fast as it goes in is as fast that you can take it apart. So make sure you do a little bit of research into the crafts. Head to your nearest craft store and see what they think about these new products before you buy. So happy crafting and we'll see you again soon.